Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video. This is John from Programming Knowledge and this is part 3 of our Java programming video tutorial series and from the previous tutorial we have installed the different um, components of our Java uh, specifically the GDK and then of course we try to install or I have shown you the um, different tools to write your source code and how to compile your um, source code or your um, Java program itself. Now in this particular video, we're going to um, dig deeper. Um, we're going to discuss some of the basic concepts of Java programming language. So first off, let's try to look at this particular example right here. We have the class main. And then we have the main method. And also we have this particular syntax that if we try to run this, we will have this particular output, hello world. And of course, whatever um, string or, or letters that we put in here. So for example, first Java program, then we should be able to see the output right here in our output pane or window just below here so we have here the Java, first java program and this is being reflected from our source code that we have changed that into this particular series of um, letters or, or characters okay so um, for this video tutorial we're going to be using the online, JD, uh, online gdb or online java compiler that we have here um, the link um, is online and then gdb.com and then slash online underscore java underscore compiler. So again, if you don't want to install anything into your computer, you can use this particular website to run your Java programs. So I, as I've said here, we have this particular class main and um, every line of code that runs in Java must be inside a class. Okay. So whatever uh, what we want to do inside our Java program, it should be inside a particular class. So in this case, we're uh, inside the uh, class main. And of course, we name our um, class as the main with the uppercase or the, the first letter of the main is uppercase. So in Java, if you want to make a class, it should start with an uppercase first letter. So that's the um that's how you can create or uh, that's how you should name your classes when it comes to java programming now we have to remember that java is case sensitive so meaning if you try to say um main main with the first letter is uppercase is it is it is not equal to this particular main so make sure if you are making a class that the first letter is uppercase and you have to remember also that java is case sensitive uh, case sensitive as i've said and uh, as you can see here the main with the uppercase first letter is not the same with this um all lowercase letters uh main okay so the name of the Java file, I, I think I've already discussed this from the previous tutorial. The name of the Java file must match the class name. So again, um, if we have the main here as our class, it should also match the uh, name of our file. And uh, as you can see here, we have main.java with also uppercase uh, first letter. Okay. Now, in this particular program, we have different parts. We have the class, public class main, and then we have the main method. So the main method or any code inside the main method will be executed. So whatever we place inside this curly braces, because this is um, like the boundaries of our, of our main method, is to be executed by our um, program okay so 
you don't have to understand the keywords before and after main at this particular point in time you will get to know them um bit by bit while uh following this particular video tutorial so for now you just have to remember that every program has a class name which must match the file name and that every program must contain um the main method okay so if you want to execute something then of course you have to have this main method main method inside your java program or java class now here inside our main we have the system that out the print line and then we have a um, series of letters uh, which reads first java program um we're using the main uh, the, the method here print line to print the um first java program line of text to the screen as what we have here okay so the curly braces right here uh it marks the beginning and the end of a block of code so meaning this is the um like the beginning and then the closing curly braces will be the ending of this particular block of code right here so each code um must end with semicolon as what we have here so inside here if we try to have like two lines of system that out the print line or th three lines then you have to make sure that each line have or each line has a um, semicolon at the end of uh, la uh, end of the line second so for example second line this will be for example the third line okay so again each code statement must and with a semicolon now in java programming there's a concept that is one of the most important i i think um in java so we have java comments so comments can be explained in uh can be used to explain java code and to make it more readable and it could you know also be used to prevent execution when testing alternative code so as you can see here we have um comments right here we also have this comment right here so there are two types of comments that we could add into our java program the first one is of course the single line comments single line comments starts with two forward slashes uh, as what we have here two forward slashes okay and then any text between the forward slashes and um at the end of this line will be ignored by java or it will not be executed so even if we, we write something right uh, right here like for example this is a comment that is very very long now if java uh, encountered this particular line 12 that we have here it will be ignored because the purpose of our comment is just to make our code more readable and of course we could um, try to explain what is happening with our code by using our comments and sometimes if you want to test something um, you are trying to test if this particular area um works or not working then you can try to comment or uncomment the um that particular line of code now um yeah we have this particular example of single line comment now the second type of java comment is um multi-line comments um anyway if you want to add also um single line comments you can also add right after the uh, line so for example here after system that out the print line the first one we could add a comment so we could try uh we could write here this is for displaying the um first 
Java program line of text. Okay. So again, what we're doing doing here is we're just trying to um, explain what the purpose of this particular line here. And of course, you can add also to the second line. This is the second line. This is the third line. So you get the point. The purpose of comments is just to make our Java code more readable and it could also uh, for documentation purposes and it could also uh, use to prevent execution when testing alternative code. Now the second type of comment is Java multi-line comments. Of course, we, if, if we have single line, if we have single line, then we could have also multi-line multi-line comments okay so of course multi-line comments starts with um forward slash and then the asterisk sign and then end with uh it ends with the asterisk sign and then the forward slash so any text between these two symbols forward slash and um asterisk and then asterisk and forward slash will be ignored by java so this is an example of multi-line comments of course you can write here paragraph if you want so um like for example this is a test for java comments so of course um it is up to you which one you want to use so normally uh, we use for double forward slash for short comments and then forward um, asterisk or asterisk forward slash for longer comments so i think that's all there is to it guys in this particular video tutorials and in the next video we're going to tackle about variables so how important these variables are inside our program we will discuss that in the next video tutorial. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.